Welcome to another edition of Race Face Drive In 5, where we introduce to you and talk about the racing from all your favorite Race Face drivers. I'm Jacob Seelman, joined on this episode by Tegan Noland, who's from Kansas. And Tegan, it's good to talk to you again. I know this is the first one we've done since the end of last year. So, you know, how's the off season been? Did you get to get up to anything fun while uh, the winter was going on and you guys didn't have any racing going on? going on well where was mainly full of us being sick so not that exciting in the winter but yeah this off season makes exciting just ready to get back in the car and race and it's what we gotta do this past weekend glad i bet i was i racing right for nashville and it's been a good off season besides that winter i was gonna ask you about that i'm sure uh, the off season was filled with a lot of eye racing huh yep Talk a little bit about that, because I know you've been one that definitely has used the sim a lot to kind of get yourself prepared and just keep your skills sharp. Yeah, so what I've been doing in iRacing has been the, um, the Nashville, because we have our race coming up, um, um, I think Friday, Thursday, Saturday, some of that day. All I know is that we're leaving uh, Wednesday which uh, is tomorrow. So, I mean, just been I racing to get used to that track. I know um, I used to uh, I race um, with my friends at the Legends car there and like, but not the uh, Mi Oval. So the Mi Oval has been a uh, fun to race. And it's, um, I'm, I like Nashville and hopefully we can um, get it a, uh, down in this upcoming um in the upcoming races and um uh, actually uh joined a league it's uh it was it's the apex sim racing league apex yep, yep. Racing league. um it's been fun to race that i raced my first race at auto club it was a recruit, recruitment race i don't remember i finished and i raced at daytona and i think i finished fourth or fifth uh maybe six and then um uh, we had a race last week at uh, Iowa, where I did okay at, but um, not what I, the best of my ability of what I think I could have done. Um, but we can't race um, this upcoming race, uh, sadly, because we're going to be in Nashville. We're going to be racing the Bandoleros. Hey, that's a good reason to not be able to be on the sim if you've got a real-life race car. And we'll talk more about Nashville in a minute, but I want to talk about uh, you had your first quarter midget race this past weekend at uh, TKQMA, which, uh, for those who don't know, is the Topeka Quarter Midget Association. Talk about how the race went, kind of what you experienced. I know uh, I know the weather out there has kind of done what it's done over here on the East Coast. It got really hot really quickly. Yeah, so we... um. We haven't been able to um practice on that off season out there because it's been really cold out here, uh, a lot rainy out here in Kansas. Um, but we got practice a week for that, but it was uh not so warm as the race day, so the cars weren't that good. And then practice in the morning on race day was still cold, so when it came race time, it was warmer, you know, and I feel like. It was more slick, you know, more, like I said, more slick. It's not the weather that we had been uh, practicing in. So that was a bit of a challenge, but had to get around it. But we um ended up in the first race, which was uh, light 160. We uh, led a couple, a good amount of laps. Um, did, we got a podium. We got third in the uh, light 160, glad we could lead the laps, get the podium finish, you know. Um, then the senior Honda, we also led some laps, and we got uh, fourth. So um, a good finish, um, especially out of what we had, um, like, 11 cars, 10 cars out there in senior Honda. So, uh, which, yeah. which is a lot for quarter midgets for for people who don't follow quarter midgets you know regularly it's a tiny little track so when you say 11 cars i mean you're you're getting into traffic really quickly aren't you mm -hmm. i remember i was up front like not most of the race so it, like the whole race um and yeah we caught lap traffic um got caught up in a rec later um 
since the back, we came up and finished fourth. But, yeah, it's a, another real good finish for us. And then we got into the senior animal, which um we led, like, half a race, maybe a bit more than half, maybe not half. Quite somewhere around there, I you think. Let, I was gonna say you led more. You led more than half of it. It was most of the race that you got to I, got to be out I front. Remember, but yeah, um, yeah, and um, we came home with a victory. Um, we there was three cars in that race. Um, there's three cars in that race. Um, and I know our car in practice. It wasn't. I. I it would. It was it turning as well. So, but that could have just been the weather um, coming in fact. Um, that can happen. You'll see that in racing a lot. But it wasn't turning. So I was going to like go out there on the heat race to see if like we could get a feel for it. And obviously it was warmer then. So it was uh, handling better for us. And we went to the feature, started second, um, got a real good start. And then took home the checkered flag. And I know you. that's always a great way to start off the year. Your first race, go out, get a win, just gets gets a little bit of that confidence going, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, getting three good finishes, two podiums, you know, it gets your confidence going, especially knowing that in the senior Honda, um, I think in the off season we got told there was going to be like 15 cars one race, 16, which is obviously – like you said, a lot of cars were used to having like five, six, seven. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of cars for the race and glad we could get a good finish with all uh like the ten, eleven cars out there on track. It might have not been around there. It might have been like eight or nine. I can't remember. But yeah, three good finishes of so first, third, and fourth. Um, can't be mad with that. No, not at all. Let's talk about that bandolero now. You kind of it's talked a little bit about it right off the top. You're getting set to go out uh, here the middle of the month, and you're going to run um, the quarter mile at Nashville Fairgrounds, the inner track, um, in a bandolero for race-driven performance this weekend, which the team you've been with before, but it'll be your first bandolero race of the year. Talk a little bit about that and kind of you know what you're excited about going into Nashville. Yeah, like I said, I've been racing on the sim. It's been um enjoyable to race there. You know, it's not, in my opinion, not too hard of a track. But, I mean, you don't know. I mean, it could change, you know, like the weather. Like, it, it came in play at Cormish, but I have a good feel for it, I feel like. um And just hopefully we can go out there and get a good finish. Um just really, we, uh, it's our first time out of Charlotte, the Carolinas, actually racing Bandolero. So excited for that. Excited to get back with race room performance and hopefully bring home a checkered flag. So just real quickly, for those who don't know kind of the, the difference that you have to have in driving the Bandolero versus the quarter midget, what are you having to do differently in the Bandolero? Because it's got full fenders, you're not leaning out the side like you are the quarter midget. Yeah, obviously, the first time I hopped into it at a Lawrence, what was that? Almost a year ago. I can't remember when we were out there, but yeah, it was almost a year ago, and um, first lap. I wrecked. I wasn't used to the Bandolero cars. Um, I was used to the core midgets, and it played a huge effect in that. Um, I was like you said, core midgets. Um, there's you're leaning out of the car. You're not all in tight, so um, and you can't full throttle it like you can in core midgets mm -hmm. around the whole track. Um, that was a big thing that I had to learn. But at Charlotte, we learned it well. Hopefully we can learn it well here in Nashville. And before we finish up here, I know you've got a lot of people that help support what you do. So I give a shout out to some of your sponsors that help you get to the racetrack each week. Yeah, so I like to give a shout to Qdoba, um, Junk, Topeka, Manhattan, and Junction C, <laughs> Friends of Jacqueline Foundation, DC Lawn Care, Thrivent Financial, Royal Signs, and our new sponsor, ATP restoration. I hope I said that right. 
You special. did. You did. That's a, And I know how big a deal that is for you guys. They just came on prior to your yes. race last weekend. And, you know, for you guys, yes. I, I know how big a deal that is to, to get a big new partner on for you guys. Yeah, we actually had, had a bit of a story. Um, we, uh, we were actually flying, I can't remember if it was out or back to Charlotte, but we met Chris on the plane and um, his son played in the USFL, I think it was. It was one of those spring football leagues, which I thought was really cool. I love football. Um, and they're actually out at the track um, what was it, Saturday. And um, I was actually walking to my uh, car race. And I felt something on my shoulder. And I turned around and, he, and he, Chris was just right there. And Chris is the uh, uh, owner of ATP Restoration. So it was pretty cool to see him out there. That's a lot of fun. And I know, you know, particularly with getting that win, it's always great to be able to take home a checkered flag in front of a new sponsor. That really makes everybody feel good. Yeah, I was glad I could do that. You know, they couldn't stay out as long as see the checkered flag, though, which, but obviously probably heard it. So um, mm -hmm. glad we could get a checkered flag um, with them sponsoring us, you know, him being out there. Alex. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Tegan, we're going to wrap this episode up. Thank you for taking some time to be on here and we'll see you at the end of next month and we'll do it all over again. Yeah, I'll see you then. All right. That's Tegan Noland. My name is Jacob Seelman and this has been another edition of Race Face Drive in 5. You can catch more on raceface.tv and we will see you next time.